What's up guys, this is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Italian States. So to round off our last time, uh, we rather handily retook Paris, apologies for that, I'm shuffling around stuff on my desk. We took, retook Paris, we made peace with Sweden and now we are going to reclaim our territory here in the British Isles. So without further ado, let us attack the Russians. Should be a very difficult battle because they do have a... Their army is mostly, well, depleted, not top quality, not full strength. So it's not really, it's not the sort of battle you worry about. Let's just say that. This is an offensive that, this is an attack that we should take, that we should do pretty well, pretty well with attacking. Obviously it has to rain. Let's put our howitzers down. Let's put our things down. Okay, what I'm going to check is somewhere. There's a button for toggle sound effects. So I'm just curious if it's. So I move. I changed it to numlock to try and see if that was doing anything. Because it was previously um, getting involved. It was previously interacting and. Okay, so it's kind of the wind, do you notice, firstly? Hmm. Bit of experimentation. So let's group, form quick lime. Do not want my fusiliers to go. Don't want my fusiliers to go um, and attack up the walls because their melee is not very good. So we're going to form one, bre one breach. Push my fusiliers in there. And my house is just going to drop quick lime on everyone they can see. Like that. I've not got it pressed, but if I press it now, I mean, obviously, it just makes everything worse. It's going to hit right in the face with a quick lime shell. Hmm. Bit of speed up time. Just because you guys have seen me do this a whole bunch before. All you really want to know is, well, it starts to get more interesting as we get inside. I don't know why they're not attacking the wall itself specifically. They are now, finally. See, they actually managed to scrounge up a garrison of Scots to dress up in Russian uniforms. That'll be the Protestants, up to no good as usual. That'd be a nice, that'd be a nice spot to drop round shot onto. But just keep engaging. They're really doing a number on these guard musketeers. So much so I should probably change their targets a little bit. Because those smaller units I'm not bothered about. So yeah, it's a tiny, tiny garrison. So much so I'm probably just going to attack up the wall now. Well, let's get a, a bunch of guys ready to storm in through the wall. I guess some guys to attack this outer bastion. Don't really want to attack too close to this section of the wall. Because quick climb is dropping in. And we have established it's not really going to be a classic fort battle. Be the foot guards. Their job. And this these guys' job is going to be to uh, wait till we have the wall. 
wait till we have the wall, and then we're gonna just storm through. Yeah, you guys climb up there. As the quick climb comes in and destroys the remnants of the guard musketeers. There you go. Set it up so these guys run along the wall. First and foremost, because I do want them to try and challenge the uh, gatehouse. No. You guys all storm up this sort of grappling up grappling irons. There we go. Run along the wall. Hopefully tick this over into our side, into our favour. Take this, this flag and capture the gatehouse for us. I mean, I hear an infantry charge. Ah, they're going to attack up the wall. Same with the cavalry. charge through. Get you guys up here as well. The Grenadiers are going to start running through the, through the inside as well anyway, so... Charge the regiment of horse in because they've already left, abandoned the uh, abandoned the breach. They do have pikemen, so we need to be careful. Like this is the thing that's the most annoying about sieges is that they just the AI is just so bad. To be honest, the howitzers just need to stop firing at will. Run my cavalry past their pikes and go and attack the centre. Hey, they're militia. Yes, you guys come in as well. Run with fusiliers. Just keep mauling them. I mean, the pikes, these aren't good. This isn't good. Go for the general. It's definitely always worth making sure you're you're attacking in, attacking in multiple areas at once if you've got the strength. Yep, some cavalry did charge around. Don't run away. Keep at it. You guys keep killing this particular infantry unit. You keep killing the Cossacks, you keep killing the militia. I 
I'm sure I set you guys to attack, but whatever. Go on, line infantry guards. Hack and slash and cut your way along the battlements. Now these guys attack the Don Cossacks. These guys continue to attack the general. The general's been killed. You've got to be pretty ruthless in making sure you do attack. Kill every, you know, attack the unit and kill them to the last man. Otherwise they will just be annoying and live. Because in this sort of battle, the AI never normally retreats until they've lost. So that's why normally these guys would have ran, but you can't run them. Like, it's so much easier to just kill this guy. Or at the very least, leave some units to kill this guy. There we go. Then they all break at once. They don't normally break. They don't normally... It's not like a normal battle where you can chain route. They normally all stay as wavering and they never run unless the battle is over. 700 men. Retaking the city. And let's spend some money. Well, the money we can on replenishment. And let's drop... Uh, Swiss guards that are coming in for reinforcements. And these line infantry units take up positions in the ports for now. Because we've not got any income. We've not got enough income to fix it. We fixed the Savoy problem. We've got a big navy based here in Cadiz. We've got another navy growing here in Syracuse. Probably be supported. Oh no, Mr. Izet, your army is more your navy is more of a raiding force. Where don't you based? I think I'm happy with you where you are. We do have some obviously we do have some Ottoman forces to be concerned about. Because when they hit us. Or when they do go for us, we need to be ready to sink these fleets. And this fleet shouldn't be a problem, because it's mainly the second rate ship of the line. When that's dead, they're all dead, and this guy is just the third rate. I don't want to preemptively attack, though. That's important. That's very important. Attacking general. Oh, that's this guy. Cool. No immediate tech changes. Let's hit end turn. No, they've offered the same technology trade. I'm still not going to do it. If the Ottomans declare on me, I will I will trade Cairo for peace. Because i that's a lot of firepower they are there that they're setting up against me. To buy time, I will trade away Cairo. Because then, then they don't share a board with me. It becomes just a naval dispute. And by the looks of the, the weakness of the fleets they've got ferrying their ships around, their, their armies around, it it feels like the sort of engagement that we are um, in a good place to win. As far as I can see, I mean, it's totally within the AI's ability to just bring out a full stack heavy fleet out of nowhere and there's nothing we can do about it. <laughs> I mean, I'll probably make peace with Russia because there's no point trying to There's no point worrying and trying to fight against the Russians in this. I do want to expand in 
I do want to expand in the uh, in the Americas though. Get some delicious trading cam. Okay, don't worry about his path being blocked. First of all, get all the repairs done. Diplomacy, Russia, peace, and trade. Not unfortunate, but to be expected. I got fourth and a third right there, which would be nice to try and take. Okay, build a sloop. Build a trade port. We do need to get rid of them in due course, though. It's not a massive priority. You guys become a smiths. You've got metal roads. You guys become a smiths. Let's repair the craft workshop. Basically, while I've got this breathing room of not being at war with anyone, I want to maximise money earned. Palatial states are low down on my list of priorities. Can Madrid handle a better school? Just about. Goes from plus, minus four to minus five. Yeah, they can handle one, an extra level of unhappiness. As long as I upgrade the theatre. Should I move the houses up nearby? And to upgrade this guy to a smith's? No, he's a bit too close to the front line for my liking. I think upgrade this low yield farm to clearances because Naples is worth a load of money to me. Spend the rest on. Nope, can't replenish anything there. Can you guys leave Turin? You can, and we're going to. And we can tax you. Well, I'm not going to tax them just in case there's any shenanigans at play. You guys combine together. Artillery. Swiss pikes in England. Well, these guys are going to form the, gar the new garrison when this force sails away. Elite infantry, foot guards. Trouble is we've got no troops down here in Egypt. Not Egypt. The Iberian Peninsula. Let's just do a bit of a settlement check to make sure we are taxing everyone. I mean, we're not taxing Savoy. We know that. That's everyone. One more turn into interchangeable parts. And that does... Reduces upkeep across the board, which is great. Boosts town wealth. It's just a good technology across the board. The Brits are keeping the, the uh, sea lanes pirate free. I mean, they're definitely uh, <laughs> getting their ducks in a row to attack us. So what's that? Two stacks. Three stacks near as damn it in Cairo. But yeah, we're not going to be able to hold that. And I don't want to spend the money to hold it. That's why I want to grow Paris. Because then, then our, our financial situation is, is actually much better. We've traded Paris for Cairo, in effect. We, if we end up losing Cairo to make peace, I'd rather have Paris. Sweden is growing. Yeah, we need to we need to go put up some colonies. Interchangeable parts, excellent. Don't bother with Canis marching, get free trade. 
Got so much stuff I could spend money on to boost my economy. You guys finish replenishing. Recall some of this infantry. You build a sloop. We get an ordnance board. Not yet. It's not a massive priority. Lots of Paris is growing. You can recruit so much elite troops from Paris. It's lovely. Steam engine factory. Steam powered cloth mill. We've pretty much got to make sure we. Keep investing. And then also, can I move this army out? I can. You guys take position in Fort Maubeuge. And we are going to pick up some Swiss grenadiers at the capital. Food shortage is going to go down. Did I recruit a fourth ray anywhere? Oh, over here. This guy. Let's set a bunch. No, oh, just two. Combine these two fourth rates over here. Can't make San Antonio de Padipadova into a general. To an admiral. It's not a badly balanced army. Lots of cavalry still. UACB, you're growing. They'll be unhappy, but entertainment and culture is going to go up to compensate. Okay, what do they want? No, okay, they want government by consent and joint stock companies for Canaan's marching. It's more or less the same trade, except they're offering to give me a grand, which I don't really want, and another technology. No. It's because Britain probably has no schools. Yeah, they are growing in strength. I think it... So we've got to make the call if I'm going to hold on to Curry or not. Because it might be worth building a fort on the border. If its area of action can actually encompass the area we're interested in. Yeah, we need more troops on the Franco-Swedish border. <laughs> we have a new rake in England. So let's take our rake. Embark him aboard ship. Just sail over to Calais. Disembark and then... I mean, that's a lot of... it's a lot of troops. Get back to Greenwich. Okay, let's pick up a general. Ludivico Scopoli. You stay here. And you need to grow in strength, matey boy. Ooh, do you get some... Okay, so let's get some heavy horse guard artillery. Which usually means we don't need as many artillery pieces. So you can get extra howitzers. Got some Swiss grenadiers. Got General's bodyguard. Two units of household cavalry and a unit of... Don't we, no, not lances. Two regiment of horse and let's get a unit of... Line infantry. There we go. This army will start to grow. Spend a bit of cash upgrading some of these lower level buildings. 
Let's get Paris into a financial centre. Algiers is developed to port. Okay, have a trade port. Have a craft workshop. You have a trade port. You can become a steam dry duck. But first, I want to recruit two light galleys to occupy both these ports in Algier. You're still converting the population, but they're fairly happy. Trade route raided. Well, let's say, uh, let's take this force out. Let's just take them out. We lost two ships, which isn't wasn't really worth doing. You can't fully repair either. Let's get this rake out of Lisbon. Let's get this guy into Stuttgart. I need to absolutely make sure I'm getting good use of my rakes. See, who's trade? Oh, we're trading with the Ottomans. That's why we've got this visibility. Fortunately, the Swedes are now... They're allied with a lot of people, but they're not... Oh, they are allied with Austria and so on. Damn. With the Ottomans. and So yeah, the next war is the Great War. <laughs> war on all fronts. These guys are still replenishing. I'll probably send these guys down to... Actually, I can sail them from Glasgow over to the New World. All these new updates. I think we've built most of these. War declared between Prussia and the Ottomans. Well, I hope that keeps them busy, wherever the hell the Prussians are. Where are the Prussians? Oh, right in the middle. They own Stuttgart. Okay. I'm not going to give you joint stock companies and I don't care about cadence marching. Yes, Prussia, march on the Ottomans. Yes. Draw their troops away from my lands. Mm -hmm. You only pass through the my good graces. So that's three-ish stacks. They've been repulsed by the Prussians in the first instance. Sweden's still moving more troops up to the border. I mean, it looks like they're massing for an imminent attack. We do need that colonial firepower. Another rake in France. Excellent. I've got two of them. Okay. Send them to lots of these areas overseas. You're marching up. Okay, let's do extra recruitment here. It's not in the track. Let's get... Let's still use... it. Actually, let's make this a new model army. Let's get some new marines with an extra unit of... Line infantry. You become a port. Fishing port. Grade you to palatial estate just to stop you from... from being so up in front and centre. Let's build two seconds in Portsmouth. Let's build... Yeah, you're a steam dry dock as well. So you don't really need all these dry docks. 
but I suppose they will eventually show their use when we eventually lose territory and we have no... There is no one area that's critical. And it doesn't mean we can churn out more ships simultaneously. But another two steam dried up. It's two, two ships. Two second rates, sorry. You're just about happy, but could be happier. So let's build a theatre. So where are I to build a fort about here? No, it doesn't cover the whole coast. If I move up to cover the coast, I've got a gap in inland. So I more or less just have to wait. I could build forts here, but 12 grand is a lot of money. To spend on a territory I don't know if I particularly want to keep. Oh damn, I've not even done my full road rollout yet. Venice has got nine grand, have roads. Because Paris already has them. Pretty sure most of the British Isles does as well. The army is now ready. Actually, first of all, let's take this sloop out. This army flee into Glasgow. You get into Belfast. Full powered European army is embarked. I'm going to sail these fellas over to the Americas to secure lands for us. And then these guys are going to go occupy, occupy Liverpool. You guys build a sloop so I can recall this unit of line infantry back to London. Good stuff. But looking at the timer, I think it's time to end the episode. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.